welcome to our first edition to our online news. I hope everyone is bearing up okay at home. How are you guys doing? Oh, great. There's lots to do, actually. I'm, um, I'm not being <laughs> bored yet. You've got enough pockets behind you, John, to keep you occupied. Yes, I can't, I can't get at them for all the clutter in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody seems to have found, like, loads more time to get stuff done and do things, but not, not, you. not me, because there are kids in the equation, so... I haven't been able to look. I haven't even been able to tidy up my my office. It's an absolute junk pile. I get the impression there are all these conferences and things going on in different rooms of the house because Mrs. Bentley's doing her teaching over 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 one, and one one of my daughters is doing stuff for her uh, college work also over another. I mean, it's uh, it's it's weird. It's like being in a sort of uh, radio studio complex with uh, with all these voices coming out of different rooms. Um, so I thought I would start off the news this week um, because I want to know, have you guys found an alternative to incessantly singing happy birthday whilst you're washing your hands? Is that what people are doing? I've just been counting. Have you? Yeah. That's boring. How about you, John? Do you sing happy birthday? Uh, no, that's an interesting question. I, 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 don't, I don't think I do sing anything while doing that. I, I'm, just, I'm just aware that I do it even longer than I would do normally and make sure that I'm really thoroughly bored. Okay. <laughs> and it must be all right if I'm bored enough. <laughs> so, so often the advice is that if you sing happy birthday, that, that means you wash your hands for long enough. But obviously singing happy birthday however many times a day is incredibly boring. Um, so there's a little DIY project that I've found online. It's designed by a company called Deep Local. And the idea is, is that with some specialist equipment that you probably will have to buy online, things like a Raspberry Pi W0 and an Adafruit speaker bonnet. But once you have the pieces together, it turns your soap dispenser into a music maker. So every time you push the soap dispenser, the little speaker links up to your Spotify account and then plays 20 seconds of your favourite song. How clever is that? Nice. Well, that's good. Sounds lovely. Yeah. Exactly. Now, it does take a little bit of, you know, putting together. You obviously need to get the stuff together. They say it takes about four hours to assemble, but you guys have loads of time on your hands, don't you? I'm sure you'll be able to find four hours for a little DIY project. <laughs> what would you have playing every time you, you wash your hands for 20 seconds? Ooh, I, a bark badinery, perhaps, from the uh, sweet number two. Something classical. Very sophisticated, John. No, you pick something classical. Um, I would pick Ludicrous Move. Nice. Thanks. I'm thinking MC Hammer. Can't touch this. <laughs> Should, more like shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> John, how about you? What's your new story? Well, you may remember that uh, Jordan did a very splendid report from the gaming BAFTAs last year. Well, I was uh, worried that this year it wasn't going to happen, but it is happening online tonight at 19.30 BST. It's hosted by Dara Breen, no less, and it'll be celebrating the very best of the British gaming industry, and I'd really recommend getting involved. John, are you going to watch it whilst wearing black tie? Because that's what people are doing these days. They're like joining in video conference calls, all dressed up, like you're actually at the event. Oh, fascinating. Yes, and I can have a glass of sherry. I think I will as well, whether I'm watching it or, or not. Uh, now, uh, cast your minds back to last year. You'll remember that Georgie and I got to play with the Flex Pie from Royal. Now, uh, Royal were able to get the drop on Samsung and Huawei and release a folding device. Uh, well, Royal have decided that uh, it's time to uh, introduce their improvement. Uh, they're calling it the uh, FlexPi 2, um, and they claim to have corrected the flaws of the uh, original. Uh, there's a more robust and new design uh, with no gap between the hinge and the rest of the phone, so it should fold better without uh, any chance of debris getting into the folding mechanism. Um, they're using a third generation Cicada wing, uh, fully extendable and flexible display. Uh, there is a 7.8 inch display on it. So at first glance, it looks very much like the original FlexPi, uh, but they have said that this one is more durable. Um, it's carrying a greater processing power and should work a lot slicker than the last one and should be good to fold and unfold up to 200,000 times. Uh, so there you go. Are you going to put that to the test? Uh, if they're happy to send oh, me one on isolation, <laughs> I'll be happy to review it. <laughs> I mean, I'm 
I love the idea of uh, of foldable screens. Actually, I, I, I think it, the idea that you'll get something larger with something less uh, cumbersome in your pocket, and but actually with more screen real estate, I think can only be a good thing. Yeah, no, I agree, and it's such a shame we're not on air because I was going to get in the Galaxy Z Flip for an unboxing. I haven't yet tried it out, and I'd have loved it. <laughs> so, what are you guys doing for the rest of the week then? Is this a stupid question? Should I be asking this? I don't think so. I think people are doing lots and varied um, things. I think mostly um, enjoyment is coming from being able to link um, groups of friends on um, on through apps like this. So a house party, which isn't enjoying great headlines at the moment, um, Zoom, uh, there's a Teams one from, from Microsoft. Um, I went to a virtual bar last week and drank with with a bunch of mates which was which was really good we're looking at having a uh, birthday gathering for my son and daughter whose birthdays are both later this month and i'm i'm very much looking forward to uh drinking more with friends over the coming week <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, I've got a phone to test um from, uh, uh, so um, i'm looking forward to doing that on my uh, my uh, daily exercise allowance and the results that will be posted online soon? Yes. Amazing. What are you up to, Georgie? I don't know, more of this, I think. And you know what, actually, I have gone analog. I've got a couple of board games that I'm learning, Catan being one of them, which is quite complicated. Um, and also trying to learn two player card games. So yeah. <laughs> Excellent. But I'll be looking forward to chatting again with you guys next week. and talking about all the latest headlines. You up for it? Yes. I'll have to check my diary. <laughs> I knew you say so that. <laughs> I'll see you then. Okay? Bye. 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 Bye.